seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight! Oh. oh, that was a big first encounter between these two bots, and as per usual, Silent Spring goes flying across the box. It doesn't seem to affect the performance of the bot in any way at this point. It looks like the weapon on Silk is dead. Yeah. 15 seconds into this fight. Oh, there goes a big chunk out of the side armor of Silk, too. Yeah. And as per usual, everything on Silent X, still functioning, still fine. One of the big things that Jameson Go has to do is avoid that, that metal front on Silk. Um, and really just go after those tires. The weapon is already down. Silent Spring has to, uh, has to survive and score damage points if it can. Now I see like uh, part of that yeah. back tire is, is exposed. I was about to say a big chunk of that just got taken off it looks like by what is now the top cutter of Silent Spring. We're down to two minutes left in this fight. Silent Spring doing its typical little dance. There it goes. That's the way that it wants to be. It yeah, wants to be and there cutter. goes some wheel, and there goes some side armor, oh. and now we're back to a top cutter position. JMO just uh, keeps hitting that, that piece of metal on the front of Silk. That's true. It's true. All right. Now, uh, now JMO's back as an undercutter, going after Silk, trying to see if it can get it into the corner. But this robot is just hanging on. What durability from Silk. What durability from robot. Very nice. Oof. Kyle, we're not seeing the kind of kill shot that we're, we're looking for typically from, from Silent Spring. Looks like maybe that weapon isn't running at full speed. Ah, maybe he's not intentionally running at full speed. You know, this late in the competition, you might be wanting to save your parts, save your pieces, keep things, you know, nice and low key, get your hits in, do what you gotta do, but try not to damage yourself too much, especially with these high kinetic bots. Yeah. 45 seconds left in this match. Silk's weapon has been down for the great majority of this fight. Its wheels are hanging out. Jameson Go has been a. Uh, Absolutely bulletproof and reliability. That weapon is continuing to go. 30 seconds left. And this looks like it will go down to the judges. Ooh. Two incredibly tough robots. It sounds like that, that weapon is going even faster, Kyle. Yeah, I think I so. I can hear it. 15 seconds left. Wow, big hit. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapons and drive to the door. Yeah, that was going to the judges. Losers bracket round 10. All right, instant replay. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and do this instant replay and talk to our judge friends while we're doing it. Yeah, judges, if you can hear us, we would love to get your thoughts on this fight, maybe starting with Zach. Well, this was actually a pretty one-sided fight, unless yeah. you count the arena. <laughs> uh, Silent Spring bounced all over, did a lot of damage to the floor and the walls, and of course to Silk uh, at the end of the day. Silk held on, but he was pretty much just hoping Silent Spring would kill himself, and his hopes were dashed. So, Silent Spring is my choice. All right, Silent Spring. How about you, Ricky? Wholeheartedly agree. Uh, Silent Spring kept dishing it out, and Silk was admirable for holding on as long as they did. Well, not as long as they did, the whole time. Uh, but uh, it just it wasn't enough to keep up with those blows. The weapon went down. Silent Spring's got to get it. Silent Spring's got to get it. All right, Courtney, what do you say? Silent Spring, all the way? Half of the way? None of the way? All the way. All the Silent way. Silent Spring right. did a great job. They had their weapon. They, you know, made the shots. Silk just wasn't able to, you know, use their weapon. They didn't make shots. Silent Spring did an amazing job. All right. Thank you very much, judges. Jameson Go survives yet another round in the loser's bracket. Absolutely punishing today. Taking out yet another member of Team WPI in Silk.